In this video, I want to talk about how people tend to get stuck when it comes to their mindset in focusing on the wrong things. Hey everyone, I'm David Cherry. I'm a coach to founders and creators based in sunny Santa Monica. On this channel, I talk about personal growth and development without sacrificing your lifestyle or burning out. If you're interested in more videos like this, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll be posting videos like this every single week. So today I wanna to talk about something that I see that's pretty common with a lot of people that I interact with that tends to lead to a bunch of problems in how they think about their own progress, feeling discouraged about their own progress, uh, getting stuck in certain types of loops when they're trying to grow professionally or personally in some type of area. And I wanna show you a visual that's gonna walk you through uh, what might be happening for you when you're feeling some of these negative side effects of just negative thinking around your own growth and development and how to refocus them on uh, some things that are gonna be a little bit more productive for you. So I have a little uh, visual that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna jump into that here. And I think we all know, you know, maybe you've, you've read uh, different books about this topic. We all know that your attention really matters, right? Like how you spend your attention, what you focus on, what you're thinking about. And if you're focusing on certain thoughts, negative or positive, your, your attention is very important uh, to your experience of your life. And the thing that I notice tends to happen to some people, and maybe this is happening to you as well, is especially for those people who want more out of life, who are a little bit maybe philosophical and they like the deeper questions, what happens is people can, can get kind of stuck in some of life's big questions, right? So there are many different versions of life's big questions that might be, you know, who am I? What is my perfect career? Why haven't I made it yet? I've worked so hard. Why haven't I made the progress that I'm really looking for? Uh, this is supposed to say, what is my purpose, right? What's my purpose in life? Am I in the right career? Um, what does this mean about me, right? Something happens in our life and we start thinking, what does this mean about me? And the thing is when we put our attention, right? So when our attention goes to these questions, which usually can happen sometimes when something big has happened, right? We made a big mistake at work or we're finally hitting the wall or we went through a breakup, something big happens and it causes us to assess and put our attention on some of these big life questions. Now, if you're not careful, what can happen, and I'm going to zoom in my screen here, is it's sort of like you can get lost in here, right? So you're kind of uh, going through some of these big questions. Maybe there's one question that's really potent to you, right? The thing about career or your purpose or your progress, something is really bothering you. And when you're in this zone, it's sort of like you're not really able to pay that much attention to the world around you because you're so caught up in the particular thing that you're stuck on, right? The particular sort of life question. So a major event happens that leads you to then ask these, these major life questions. And what I tend to see happen is when people put their focus and their attention here, these are unanswerable questions, right? They're important. And, and I don't want to take away from the importance of some of these questions. They're, they're really what I think um, are meaningful parts of our lives is to constantly kind of ask ourselves these questions. But if we spend too much um, of our attention, right? If our attention stays over here, what tends to happen is, and I'm just gonna make a little list here, you know, we sort of get stuck, we spin in circles, uh, you know, we start to feel discouraged. Maybe we even start to feel depressed, right? We start feeling like, what is my purpose? I'm not living my purpose. We start to feel this spiral of kind of, well, I can't answer this. And if, and, and then what happens is we sort of say, if only, right, if only I could answer this question, you know, maybe think about it for yourself. What is the thing that you think that if only I answered this one question, if I could just figure out the perfect career, if I could just do X, if I could just make progress in this one area, if only I could figure out the answer to this question, then my life, you know, would be resolved slash amazing slash perfect. You know, maybe it's not that drastic, but there is some level of we think if only we can answer this nagging question, that's so important to us that we always seem comes up in our life. Well, then we will feel great. Then we'll have, uh, you know, the amazing life, the perfect life. We'll feel at ease. We'll feel comfortable. Right. And I want to pose something kind of interesting to you, which is what if the way to get what you're looking for, what if the way to get the perfect career, what if the way to get 
progress for, you know, in the area you're seeking, feeling a sense of purpose, feeling meaning and connection in your life, you know, in your relationships. What if the way to get this is not by focusing your attention over here, right? Because when we focus our attention here, we start to get lost. We start to get lost. We can't, where are we, right? We're kind of floating around. What if when we put our attention instead on engaging with life? So let me, let me pose an alternative. The alternative to spiraling in this area could be something like participating, right? Engaging with life, doing the work, right? Doing, writing the novel that you've always been thinking about, practicing the thing that you've always wanted to practice, guitar, piano, whatever it might be. Serving others. I'm out there. I'm supporting people with the gifts that I have. I'm actually engaging with them. I'm serving them. I'm there helping, right? I mean, just helping others. What a great way to engage with life. Enjoying the people around me. I'm happy. I'm enjoying people. I'm present with life. I'm creating art, right? These are active ways of participating with life. So what I find is that when our attention goes here, and if we, if we stay too long here, which can happen to a lot of people who are sort of deep thinkers, we get lost, we're spiraling, we're reading self-help books, right? We're trying to fix everything over here, but we're just getting more lost. We're feeling discouraged, we're stuck. We're thinking if only we could answer this, then all of our progress would happen. If we're over here, what I find to be very interesting, and, and here's kind of a, a flip, maybe they can switch in your head. What if it's the case that the way to answer these questions to experience what you want to experience on the other side of answering these questions, what if that happened by taking action, by focusing on engaging with life, by focusing on actually being active and a participant in your life and in the world around you instead of sort of pondering and being deep and introspective only in your own head, right? And so what if the way to get your perfect career was focusing your attention on doing the work, not on answering the question. What if being present helps you feel more purpose, right? What if serving others makes you start to feel like you're making it, right? Um, what if enjoying people in your life and participating, it creates a new sense of meaning. So I suppose what I'm posing is this complete kind of flip. You know, anytime your attention starts to drift over here and get stuck for here too long, see what happens if you can zoom out and put your attention on some of these things that you can control. So I'm going to cross out this area. This is not asking these questions and pondering them. Again, I'm all for it, but getting stuck over here, not really going to get you far. What happens if you can zoom out and actually start to experience the meaning of these questions that are answered through living it, right? Through engaging with life. So that's my thought today is see what happens if you can zoom out if you're feeling stuck in this type of spiral, refocus your attention on some of the things that allow you to actually engage with the world around you and see what that does for you. Now, I'm going to add one last thing, which is if you feel like you're too stuck over here somehow and you're only in the doing, you know, hey, maybe it's worth exploring some of the bigger questions. Maybe it's worth zooming out again and spending a little bit of time uh, over here. However, I find that the way to actually experience now, and that's what I'm gonna leave us with, is what if instead of answering the life's big questions, which doesn't ever happen, we experience the answer to them today? That's kind of the thought. What does it mean to experience the answer to your life's biggest questions today by engaging the world around you. So that's my thought today. That's my, um, you know, little experiment that you can try for yourself. I'm curious, does this resonate? What questions do you have? You can always leave comments down below. I would love to chat with you there. You can like and subscribe for more videos like this. And with that, we'll be back again very soon. Later.